Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin lantern for Halloween out of a cereal packet. Because carving out a real pumpkin is quite hard work and it's sometimes hard to get hold of them. If you haven't got a real pumpkin and you've got an old cereal packet, you can make one. Okay, so. Uh, Brown flakes, take the brown flakes out obviously and cut both ends off. So I'm taking that end off with the scissors and that end. Those bits, you're going to need those in a minute. Oops. And also cut along here so that you can then open your whole piece of cardboard out like that. Okay. Um, with the lid of the cereal packet, fold down one corner so that it's level with that edge. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw a line down there. Just like that. Can you see that line? And we're going to cut that triangle out. Okay, unfold it and then cut just one of the triangles out. You only need one triangle. So you end up with a triangle. I'll put that to one side, you can need that in a minute. So back to the opened out piece of cardboard. So you see there's a there's a thin flappy bit there in the middle bit. What you want is this this bit first. So open it up with the shiny picture side downwards. Get a plate, small plate that fits onto the cardboard. I'll show you what I mean. So that's the base of the cardboard. So Set the plate on the cardboard so the bottom of it is level with the first bend. It doesn't matter that it's over the top of here because you want a sort of flat round shape. Okay. So draw round your plate and you end up with a circle. So what you need to do now is to cut all of that cardboard away, keeping this bit here. I'll show you what, you mean, what I mean. So cut this piece away. Make sure you leave this bit uncut because that's got to stay there. Okay. So now we're going to cut along this fold. Very important, you don't cut the circle completely out. You see what I mean? Okay, so we do that on the other side. Looking forward to Halloween. It's a shame we can't go trick or treating this year, but at least we can have some fun indoors. Get dressed up, some spooky decorations up. We can have the pumpkins and the popcorn. It's all going to be lovely. So we end up with something like that. So here's the rest of your cardboard already. You still need that. And this is still attached. Okay. So triangles. Do you not notice this is sort of a pumpkin sort of face? So we're going to use the triangles to draw round. Okay. So it doesn't really matter where they are because a pumpkin is all sort of random anyway, isn't it? So I'm going to have one eye here, so I'll just put that flat and draw around it. OK, 
okay so you end up with an eye and then the other one is a bit of a bit of a wonk I'm going to put the other eye here These pumpkins have often got quite a sort of spooky face haven't they and then the nose could go right in the middle maybe something like that Okay, so we've got two eyes and a nose. Now I'm going to use a triangle to make some teeth. So it's a triangle there, there, and all the way along. I'll show you what I mean. Starting here. And you can do whatever you like with this triangle. One more, I think, make it look super scary. Okay, so we end up with a pumpkin face like that. Now we've got to cut these shapes out. Now, the best way I found to doing this was to poke my sharpened pencil, so I've got a pencil sharpener, sharpen my pencil, and then I poke my pencil through one of the holes making sure my fingers are well away from the hole. It would hurt if you so stuck the pencil all the way through, give it give it a twist. Then you can push the scissors through the hole. And this is a bit tricky, so you might want some help to do this bit. And if you cut keeping your fingers well away from the scissors. Sometimes it can get a bit raggedy when you're doing this, but it really doesn't matter. Again, it's a pumpkin, isn't it? If you just fold these, you've done three cuts, if you can see, and fold the flaps back. Just like that. A little bit tricky. Now it's super easy to just cut those flaps off. You can see what I'm doing. Just like that. Out of here, keeping my fingers well away, snipping off this triangle. And that last little bit. So we end up with a triangle hole. So do that with all of the triangle shapes. When you've done that, you need to paint your triangles, your triangle face orange, so it looks like a pumpkin. Okay. You might need a couple of coats, but get a good old orange colour to your to the front of your of your pumpkin face. Turn the cardboard over and paint the inside black. Okay, so you get a nice contrast. Okay, so now all we need to do is to put it all together. So it's very easy. We just fold up the cereal packet, and we need a bit of sellotape just there. Okay, a bit of sellotape on the front of the pumpkin face. Then with the top of the packet. And carefully. I'll put a finger inside there to make sure that stays really, really well. Okay. So if we just carefully fold it all so it stays upright put that further back you can see we now have a lantern which could stand on your windowsill maybe looking outwards obviously uh, so the window is here and the room is here so that people can see the pumpkin that looks super scary especially at night I'm going to have a go I've got a torch here so I'm going to have a go at putting a torch inside. Now it's, it, as it's not dark outside, it's, it 
it's, it hasn't really worked. But I'm really hoping that if you put that torch inside there, and it was dark outside, you'd be able to see the light shining through. Okay, so have a go at that. See if you see if you can can do that. Hope you have some fun making your non-pumpkin pumpkin lantern. Okay, happy Halloween to everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.